start of the weekend, it's a Friday, but the weekend start on a Friday now. They always used to, even when I was in work, I used to love Fridays. May, stop it. I don't like how you're approaching me. May, I'm allowed to be up here, ow. That's my leg, you bit. Stop it. Oh my word. Ah, May, what are you doing? I'm trying to help Isabella. Yeah, she's got a tiger patrolling, protecting her in the house. Oh my word. So here's, so here's Isabella editing her latest vlog for a long time, first vlog for a long, long time. Oh, I'm singing. <laughs> Need to cut the grass a bit. That's all we got at the moment. Our grass cutter's given up, so we need to get another one. So I'm with a glorified pair of scissors, really. <laughs> Quietly quitting. What do we mean by quietly quitting? Well, if you watch back for our vlogs in 2000, we went for a walk to a local park near where we used to live in the UK, in England. And at that point, we'd decided we want to move to the Philippines. Something else happened at that time as well. We basically quietly quit our jobs. Now, that might be a phrase you've not heard of before. What that means is you don't give up your job, you haven't left your job, but in your mind, you stop chasing promotions, you stop putting an extra effort as your, your goal, your focus is somewhere else. That's what we did, didn't we? Yeah. We still went to work, we still performed to the best of our ability, put in as much effort as was required of us, mm. but we didn't go above and beyond as our future, our life, our heads and our hearts were somewhere else. We already knew what we wanted to do in life, what we wanted out of life. And that's why we, we quietly quit. As that's very important, isn't it? When you want to move, when you want to change your job, change your career, change your lifestyle. It's hard when you've got things holding you back. Is that a spider? That's a spider, it's a very unusual one. Wow, very shiny. So when I was working, I know already that we are quitting our job, so it kind of give, give me a um, motivation. Yeah. Not to uh, like get stress. It wasn't um, stressful when you know your plan. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when you when you go to work, you're you're focused for 30, 40, 50, even 60 hours. Some people yeah. on your job, and it takes over a lot of your your physical and your mental energy. It mm -hmm. really can drain you, can't it? Yeah. But when you want a change in life, that's not just about moving to another country, for example. For us, it was moving to the Philippines, but it could be. You're approaching retirement it could be a different kind of life you want maybe you want to move from the city to the countryside maybe yeah. you want to move to another country maybe you want to reduce your hours even mm. it's all about work life balance and sometimes mm. it's difficult when you have a lot of pride in what you do in work and you're chasing promotions and stuff and i found out myself that it got to the point where i went to work to do what i needed to do i earned money I did a good job for the company, but nothing more than that. My heart, my head, all of my energy was focused into this move. Yeah. Because that's where we wanted to be, that's how we wanted to live our lives. Just doing what we're doing now, it's very simple what we're doing, very simple, but so relaxing and rewarding. It's a Friday at the moment, and a lot of people are in work. That used to be us, both used to work a Friday. Yeah. Um, it's a nice day, because the weekend's about to start. You get that Friday feeling, so to speak. Mm. But when you are focused on your job and you put in so much more effort than is, nor than is required of you, sometimes you put in extra effort to try to stand out, to get noticed. Yeah. Maybe for a raise, for a promotion. Promotion. Maybe that's how you are. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to focus on something else, it's difficult to juggle the two. The dragon fruit. It seems like go everywhere. Yeah. You seen this? Look. I don't know what we can do. Maybe oh. we can tie this again? I think we have to tie it up again. What do you think? Yeah, those end bits, is that like new stems or is that the fruits? Worth one. That? Um, I think that's still... New stem? Yeah. One thing that really helped me and motivated me and it sort of guided me through life really was when I saw my father, he worked very hard for his company and he put in so much effort. He was always there first first in last out get home late 
And I saw what I did to him. He was drained emotionally, mentally, physically. Every Friday night he would listen to music and he'd have no energy for anything. And it's very difficult to watch. When, when your work takes over your life, it can impact on your, your well-being, your mental well-being. So James woke up with a bit of pain today in her back. Slept a bit funny last night. It wasn't funny when I read something. I feel like, you know, I feel like my nerve dropped. Yeah. Like the back, I, I recently I bit down. I'm just pulling, I'm just pulling I got a cut on my hands. <laughs> if it doesn't get in the cut, mm, I can feel it. Feels a bit tense, like the nerves trapped. So Jane and myself have been doing a lot of exercise lately, a lot of working in the garden, and it gives you pains all around your body, especially your neck area, due to posture. You put a lot of strain on your neck. We're very fortunate to be sent this by a company called Yasui. It's a red light therapy traction pillow. Now what is red light therapy? Red light can help decrease inflammation and it promotes more blood flow to the areas. It's a treatment that may help skin, muscle tissue and other parts of your body heal. It exposes you to low levels of red or near infrared light, which penetrates deeper. It can definitely help your body to heal, to recover if you have pains. With red light therapy, you expose your skin to a lamp, a device or laser with a red light. Your cells soak it up and it makes more energy. It's quite beneficial to use in the morning or in the evening. It doesn't harm, it doesn't hurt for sleep like blue light does, but some people do use it in the morning to give a boost to the start of the day. So we're gonna surprise Jane with this. I'm gonna try it on her. She's gonna be the guinea pig and see if it helps her with her neck and her back problems. Okay, there she is. You all right? What's ah, going on? We've got this. Uh, what is that? Cervical traction, red light therapy, neck pillow. Neck pillow. Neck pillow. What it is basically is we need to plug this in. Don't worry, you're not going to get electrocuted. Mm -hmm. Plug it into the wall. Three switches, temperature, time, and power. And you basically lay on this with the back of your neck mm. and it emits infrared lights into mm. you, which helps to soothe, heal. Okay. Okay, so we're plugged in. There we are. Okay. So we've got an adjustable temperature, 38 degrees, 41 degrees, 45. Which temperature do you want? 38, 41, 45. Uh, maybe 38. Just try okay. 38 first. And then. the time? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes? Okay, 15 minutes. 15? That's what it defaults to. That's it. Just tie your hair up a bit. That's it. And just relax. Okay. Okay, and it helps blood flow to the nerves. Sometimes when you get a stiff neck it's because you slept awkwardly or you've been using the computer too long in the same position or gardening or exercise. But this should help to improve that, to heal that. So I can feel the heat now. It slowly build up. It's quite good. It feels, feels good on my, my neck. And the company, Yasui, they sent us this to try out. They have lots of different products. And if you use our code in the description, use the link, you get 20% off the products. But definitely it's worth, worth trying, isn't it? Yeah. Like therapy. Yeah. Especially when you get tense shoulders and necks. Mm. They have different products, ones that you put on your stomach, individuals. It can be used for beauty as well. Mm. It can get rid of fine lines even. We haven't tried that one today, but maybe we will in the future. But this one definitely is perfect for chain, as it can help to realign the neck. It can help to soak in. The infrared lights go really deep, and it can help. It can help to recover, to relax you. You're getting relaxed now, aren't you? <laughs> You're gonna fall asleep okay. in a minute. So doing things like this is, again, a very simple I thing. Oh, all right. oh, oh, all right. you're all right. I don't beat you down, all right. Oh, my darling, come here. Come, <laughs> come on. What did you do? You walked into it. <laughs> oh, oh my darling. You put that in video, you're big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I keep doing it as well. I keep hitting my head, and these things are very spiky, aren't they? This is this is what happened when you retire early. <laughs> you lose all common sense. Get to have a lot more fun. <laughs> So quietly quitting is definitely something we did. It's not for everybody. Some people, they love their jobs and that's absolutely fine. But when your heart is somewhere else in your head and you're planning your move or changing lifestyle, Ellie. it's hard when you put in so much focus into work. We're not saying to quit your jobs, obviously. But for us, we went to work. We did what was required of us. We were professional, but we were looking forward to our move here to a different kind of life, to a tired life in the Philippines. We have no regrets at all. We said it before. It worked for us to quietly quit. It might not work for you, but do what you feel is best. Definitely some benefit to it. You find yourself free. You find that your energy, your mind is focused somewhere else. We were so excited for our move. We put a lot of effort into planning it. Still building the house at that time. When you put a lot of focus in work and you're still chasing promotion, you do a lot of overtime, you're away from your family, on the days off you spend time with your family, it doesn't give a lot of extra time. Moving to the Philippines for us was so intensive, but so fun and exciting. I couldn't wait to see my family, not to talk about how work was going, but to talk about our moves. Same with friends as well, you get together. And normally you talk about work, it get-togethers, family get-togethers, catch up with friends, but when you don't talk about work anymore, how's work, it's okay. You talk about what you love in life. And there's more to life than work, definitely. It puts food on the table, it pays the bills, but there's definitely more to life than work. When you talk about what you really love in life, and you don't talk about work, then the stress of work disappears. People put a lot of their time, a lot of years into work, and it can take over. When you let go of it, you do feel free and you can focus on what really matters in life. I'm gonna put another plant here in front. We're gonna actually grow this tree here. Something to grow up, move this light to the side and it gives us a little bit more privacy from these rooms here. Okay. This one? Okay, you can try, see if you can make a hole. All right, let's try. It will be I think the space is going to break. Takes a year. Because you just pick up the wrong, wrong it's, tools. Uh, no, it's not. This is what you used to dig a hole. Just shovel, a spade. Good luck. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think it's going to bend. Oh, here we are. Here we are. This is better. It's working now. That shovel almost bent in half. <laughs> I stood on it. You didn't, you didn't use the shovel. <laughs> sheer, sheer so how big a hole do I need to go? Depends how big this one. Okay. Yeah, bigger than bigger that. Than <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This is the tree we're going to put in the corner. Is that? It's like metal. It's just rock, darling. Oh, There's a lot of rock? small yes, stone. Yeah. It's gold. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. God. Joke line. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's made some roots underneath, hasn't it? Yeah, it grew underneath because we live it longer. And the pot's breaking now. We don't want to they kill the... They damage the roots. Hola. It's really... Really deep, isn't it? Yeah. How long has it been here then? Not long, is it, this one? I mean, last year. Oh, was it? <laughs> Oh, right. We're still amateurs. But then we've got a lot of years to learn. Whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am grouped. Oh, can you cut that one? <laughs> yeah. That one, that, that one, that, that. Right here? Yeah, yeah. I almost forgot with the name of this bullock. Here we are. You show me how to do it because I'm going to learn. If you hold this tree for me oh. so I can dig underneath. Sure this is called teamwork. Yeah. Let's do it. Stand up quickly. <laughs> Pull it. Okay. There we are. Okay. There we are. That's it, darling. What do you think? That's yeah. okay? That this is good. This is like leaning on the other way. When it was windy, it's been... Oh, is the wind doing it? Yeah, blow. So it might need like a support. <laughs> it was it. like almost filled down last time. That's a bit like why. the mango tree then. Yeah, that should be okay, do you that think? That should be fine. I think. All right. Yeah, that'd be good. If that grows in the next couple of years, 
then that'd be quite nice to have here, wouldn't it? 